Hello guys and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our last tutorial we have learned how to detect when a keyboard key is pressed and held down. In today's tutorial we're going to use that information that we learned from our prior tutorial to make something useful in our game. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a sprint button. The first thing that came to mind was which key should I use for a sprint button. People suggested I should use the left shift key but then a lot of games out there are using the, the shift key for the shift lock. So I have decided instead of using the left shift key, I'm going to use the Q key for the sprint button. So when the Q key is pressed and held, it's going to make the player run faster. Let's get started by going to our starter player, starter player scripts. We're going to add a local script. In your local script, just put in the following lines. On the first line here, we're declaring our user input service. The next three lines is to wait for the humanoid of the character to load. These next two lines here, we're checking to see when the Q key is being pressed and held. We're going to keep checking this every 0.3 of a second. If we have detected that the Q key is being held down, we're going to add three to the walk speed of the humanoid of the character. The higher the walk speed, the faster the character is going to run. And we're capping the walk speed at 50. So 50 is the maximum walk speed for the character. Let's now play and take a look. Right, so I'm going to run normally now. You see, it's going pretty slow, but if I now press and hold the, the Q key down, Eventually, it's going to pick up speed, and now the character is running really fast. But when I let go of the key, the character is still running very fast. It's not slowing down. Let's go back to the script, and we're going to see how we can slow down the character when the key is released. To slow down the character, you just need to add in the following lines. We're checking to see if the humanoid walk speed is still greater than 16, meaning that 16 is going to be the minimum walk speed. If it is at 16, we're not going to make it go any lower. But if it's still higher than 16, then we're going to remove, we're going to subtract 1 from the humanoid walk speed to slow down the character. And remember, this while loop is, uh, is going at almost 3 times a second. So we're going to be subtracting 1 uh, three times a second that that means we're subtracting like three from the walk speed almost every second All right, let's play and take a look Now the character should slow down when we release the Q key I'm gonna run normally first and it's going very slow and now if I press Q and run It's gonna pick up speed. It's going faster now and now it's going really fast but if I let go of the Q key and I run again, it's still pretty fast, but it should slow down eventually. And now it's very slow. And if we want to confirm, if we want to make sure, we're going to go to our workspace and we're going to go to our character. We're going to look for the humanoid, click on that, go to the properties window. We're going to look for walk speed. It's right here. Our walk speed is 16 right now. That, that is the default walk speed. If I run right now, I'm running pretty slow. If I press the Q key down, I'm, I'm speeding up and you can see the walk speed is increasing. Now, if I'm gonna release the Q key, you can see the walk speed is coming back down. And when it hits 16, it should stop. And there it is. I'm at 16 now and it's running very slow. That's how you make a sprint button in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care.